Hello subscribers and watchers, what's up? This is Vivs from Slidner here. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to send images from your app to other apps installed on your device using intents. This is a continuation of the different intent examples that we guys have been seeing through the previous videos. So here in my activities layout, which is very much of what I had in my previous video, there is an extra button which is called send image. If you go to the activity underscore main.xml, the code view, at the bottom, you'll notice it has an Android ID of send image. It has the Android on click attribute equals to process, which means the method process will be called when this button is clicked. Of course, the text is send image. Go to main activity. Here is my process method that gets called anytime when one of these buttons is clicked. It's our responsibility over here to determine which button was clicked. So I'm gonna have that with the help of an if statement here. I'm gonna get the ID of the view object that is passed inside over here in the process which represents the button that was clicked by the user and then I'm gonna compare its ID with r.id.send image if yes then what should I do the first thing that I wanna do is get the URI properly I'm gonna say URI.parse now the image that I wanna send is right here inside my drawable folder and built in my app over here it's going to be this IC launcher that I have. So for that, I can use a special format to get access to that. I'm going to say android.resource and then the package name which is slidener.wivs slash drawable folder and then I need to add the name of the file. Now of course you will be tempted to say IC underscore launcher dot png but don't do that. Instead use the r.id r.drawable dot IC launcher this as the base name because the files that you have over here have IDs generated inside the gen folder over here and th those are the real names that Android uses while understanding which resources you're trying to refer to so this would be the URI I'm gonna save this URI into some object I'm gonna say image URI here and that is our first step done now the next thing that I need to do is go and make an intent object now if you remember we already have an intent object over here which is called intent intent equals to null and there's of course the chooser so let's initialize the intent object by saying intent equals to new intent and the action in our case is gonna be sending something right I'm gonna be action send over here now the next thing that you need to do is you need to tell what type of data you're gonna send from this intent so that it can fetch the appropriate apps installed on your device which are capable of sending that data I'm gonna say intent.set type over here and that is gonna be image slash star it's a mime type which specifies that you're trying to send something which is of any format but it is an image and that being said the next thing that you need to do is put some extras I'm gonna say intent dot put extra it's gonna be intent dot extra stream now the data that you're sending is binary data so that comes under this category called extra stream here you just need to pass the URI saying image URI now whenever this is encountered it's gonna find this object over here it's gonna get its binary representation link that binary representation with your intent extra stream and that is gonna be retrieved by the other app or application that you're gonna call to work with that data and then you're gonna simply say intent dot put extra I'll also put some text over here I'm gonna say intent dot extra text here I'm gonna simply say hey I have attached this image or something like that and that's all we need to do now we don't directly start the intent because if there is no app on your device that can handle this then there's gonna be a crash most cases that's what happens so we'll use a chooser that we have initialized above which is chooser equals to null in other words this is a simple way of saying intent dot create chooser it's gonna say that find all the apps on my phone that can handle this intent object and give that dialog box which pops up a title saying send image and this is gonna go inside chooser and now we simply start activity for that particular chooser so if this chooser part is still not clear don't worry about it when we run this you'll understand exactly what is happening let's just run this over here 
click selected here to click run at the top course is my device use device for future launches so I'm using droid to screen over here for working with my device and that is being connected on the screen if you see send image over here right now the chooser is going to launch and as you guys notice this was the dialogue that we created here which said find all the apps on my phone that can handle this intent object and give the dialog box a title send image which you see over here at the top which is called send image and these are the apps that are capable of working with the action send and the particular image type that I have specified over here which means you can either Bluetooth this email Facebook Twitter whatever so I'm gonna select Gmail for now and as you guys notice there's my two section over here I'm gonna simply mail this to slide nerd over here at the rate gmail.com and I'm gonna put the subject as hey that's all and the text that we said over here which was saying hey I've attached an image that is right here and below that there is an attachment which is not visible currently but once I send this I will show you this exactly on my email ID that this thing has come perfectly and as you guys notice right now it says hey I've attached this image and there this attachment is available now if you click here there is no preview so you gotta download this and then you gotta open this and of course it's not recognizing the file type despite specifying that it's an image just open that with photo viewer click OK and there you go that's our icon launcher icon which I added as an attachment and sent from my app in this video we talked about how to send an image which is a part of your app to other applications out there through intents in the next video we're gonna talk about how to send multiple images from your SD card to other apps as attachments in the meantime if you like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching we'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day